What's up guys, Jack Ryan Garage here again. Uh, this will be, hopefully, as long as everything goes to plans, our last installment into our 2004 STI build. Um, we've got the motor all together the last couple of videos. And uh, real quick, uh, the other night we actually put it into the uh, car, just literally set it in there, bolted the transmission with a couple bolts, put the motor mounts down in their placement and literally stopped. We just got it set in there. Uh, so today is literally just all going back together, getting accessories bolted on, getting hoses and wires and all the things like that connected to their proper places. Uh, I know we're, we're planning on rerouting a couple of hoses and stuff like that. Uh, that originally when we pulled this motor out, a lot of stuff just wasn't very pretty. It was very uh, mangled. So we're going to try to route everything a little nicer, make it look a little better under the engine or under the hood. Uh, but that's basically it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some stuff plugged in, work on, like I said, some wires, accessories, get the exhaust on, stuff like that. Uh, as soon as we get a couple of things done, uh, make some progress, uh, get the camera back out, and uh, we'll see where we're at. All right, guys, we got a couple more things done. Um, we were just underneath the car. We got the, all the rest of the bell housing bolts in. Uh, that's between the bolts going through the transmission, bolting the motor and the transmission together. Uh, we did get... A uh, bunch of wiring done. I got all the harness plugged in over here. I uh, got some vacuum lines run to, down to like the waste gate. Uh, got some vacuum lines run. Uh, I haven't plugged these in yet, but I, we know that this one goes to intake here. This one goes down to the turbo inlet there. Uh, we got the starter in. Um, hmm, what else did we do? Uh, we're getting. We're fixing to uh, put the radiator in right now. Uh, got an aftermarket Mishimoto radiator over there. Uh, that goes in here. We'll get the hoses hooked up to that. We got to get a new bolt for the uh, V band clamp on the wastegate, uh, just because which it's down uh, right here where the dump tube goes on for the wastegate. The little bolt that goes in the V band clamp is stripped, so we want to get a new one of that. Uh, we're gonna get a couple more things done. We'll get the radiator in. Did I stutter? The radiator in. I'll uh, maybe get the power steering pump bolted on right now and uh, uh we'll get back to it um didn't get as much done as we wanted to today we had some other things going on and just got a little distracted but uh we did get our, our radiator in fans are plugged in radiator hoses are on our whole uh belt system's on for the alternator power steering ac all that's uh ready to go ac lines are hooked up uh, we did get our uh intake tube on here mass airflow is plugged in uh, we did drain the fuel tank because this thing has been sitting for a year So we didn't want to drain the fuel out and start over with some fresh fuel So uh, we did drain the fuel tank and uh, we're gonna get some uh, 93 octane fuel to throw in there uh, for when we start it up uh, We still need to do fluids like coolant oil power steering fluids stuff like that uh, We still need to get the air oil separator on which will sit right back here in this corner on the strut tower Obviously our top mount intercooler is missing um, our uh, coolant uh, expansion tank that sits right here is uh, not on yet, and obviously we're still gonna get the battery in. It's actually over there uh, on the charger getting charged up. But uh, yeah, that should be it for today. Uh, we're gonna try to get this thing, this thing finished up pretty soon here. Uh, should be running soon. Uh, we're gonna do our uh, braking procedure on it. Uh, just go real easy on the motor, change the oil on the intervals that IAG suggests to do for the braking on this block. Uh, but that all should be coming soon, and. Uh, We'll let you guys know when we uh, get around to doing that. Obviously, we'll get a video on uh, first startup and uh, first drive, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, everything's going pretty smoothly. Everything's looking good. I love the way it's turning out. We do are going to detail it too. Um, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. You can kind of see on the fenders. Got some uh, uh, paints kind of getting a little sun bleached there. Up here on the hood in front of the intercooler. It's getting a little bad. So we're going to go ahead and detail this thing. Uh, give it a good wash. Give it a good buff. Throw some wax on it. Make it really pop and shine. Uh, for the sell, uh, for the buyer, uh, we do have somebody already ready to buy this, so that's why we're kind of crunching to get it finished up. But uh, yeah, everything went pretty good today. Uh, we'll get this thing finished uh, hopefully pretty soon, and uh, we'll show you the end result as soon as we get it done. All right, it's a couple days later. Um, we got the STI back in the shop. Got our downpipe on. Oxygen sensor is there. Uh, plugged in over here on the side of the transmission. Um, we do, we got a new bolt for our uh, V-band clamp for the wastegate. So we got our dump tube ran here, our wastegate dump. 
Uh, downpipe is on with a new gasket up there. We just gotta go up and uh, tighten all the bolts. Uh, you can kind of see our AFR sensor up there. It's in there tight and plugged in. Uh, I believe that's all we've done underneath. Pretty much should be done underneath, I think, honestly. Um, we did pick up some new fresh gas for the tank as we did, uh, like I said, we drained that in a nice little drain here. Uh, we drained that last time because there was just old fuel in there. Uh, so yeah, pretty much the exhaust system's done. Everything's ran, everything looks pretty good to me. Uh, we're gonna throw some new gas in it, go up top. And this is pretty much all we have left here. Like I said, uh, top mount intercooler. And basically just kind of gotta figure out how we, uh, remember how we, uh, or how this. Let's check in on Squidward again. Air oil separator is ran in there. Um, it's been a little while since we took this apart. We just have to kind of go through and figure out where all those hoses go. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and drop the car down, uh, start working on the air oil separator, start working on the top mount intercooler and uh, all the other little tiny odds and ends that need to be done and uh, we'll get back in just a minute. All righty guys, we accomplished quite a bit. Um, we got our air oil separator on, uh, all of our lines are ran where they need to go. We did redo a couple of them uh, specifically um, these ones that come off from the bottom, I know you can't see well, but way down there on the block is where the PCV valve is and this big black hose comes off of that. Um, and this T used to be down there and it was just really getting in the way of where the intercooler Y pipe goes on the turbo inlet here. Or I guess that's turbo outlet technically. Uh, really getting in the way. So we relocated that T up here to make it a lot easier to get the intercooler on. Um, so we got uh, all our lines ran into it. Uh, this big black line comes up into here obviously it tees off into the bottom of it there uh this line here on top comes down underneath the intake and runs up into the uh, turbo inlet here and then these two on the back here one goes this one here goes to the uh passenger side valve cover and this one here goes to the driver side valve cover and then you have this uh red hose here that goes down red hose goes to this valve cover and kind of just goes underneath the intake goes the other valve cover kind of just balances the two um sides of the the motor uh so we got that all done uh we, obviously we got our intercooler on as you can see blow off valves bolted on um got all of our uh, clamps tied on here uh, intercoolers bolt up onto our little support bracket there. Well, I think that was pretty much everything that was left from the last uh, time I was recording. I, I think that's all we did. Um, we did tr uh, try to get a first, uh, not a first start, but we uh, we disabled the fuel pump relay so we could crank this thing uh, to obviously build oil pressure before we were actually started up. And uh, we're having starter issues. Pretty sure since the thing sat for so long uh, that our starter motor is just no good. I think it's like seized up or something. So we're gonna have to order a new starter. That's not gonna come in until um, uh, and another day. So this is kind of gonna go on pause for a day until we can get that uh, starter motor in. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We just really just gotta wait on the starter. Everything seems to be working. We did put, uh, since we drained the fuel out, it had E80 in it, and we drained uh, that out and put just regular 93 pump gas in. And uh, so we did uh, put a new uh, reflash on the ECU. We, uh, this car did come with a Cobb access port, so we reflashed it to the 93 tune. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, we really just have to wait on that starter. Uh, we did get oil in it. Uh, we did get the cooling system filled up. And... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. As soon as we get that starter motor in, we'll uh, get back on here, uh, you know, show you guys, uh, basically, like I said, getting this thing on a first startup, uh, getting it cranked over first to get some oil pressure built up, check for leaks, stuff like that. And then uh, we'll kind of do a short little thing on just, you know, like I said, we got to detail this thing up, get the paint a little better than what it is right now. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, as soon as we get that starter in, get a little more things done, uh, we'll, we'll get back to it. 